it. No, because I've seen discussions about people just letting the soap run. They know, don't wash their legs. The and then, okay, well, here's they another don't thing. Use wash cloths at all. Y'all, y'all, this hand. Hand. See, see, hands. See, see, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into detail on this also because this, I think that this is something that's wrong with society today. Y'all expect men to be almost very feminine and like women in some ways. Like, just good hygiene. you know, here I'll give you an example. I used to always go to Hooters after my paintball tournament. I used to play tournament paintball and stuff like that. And I would go to Hooters afterwards, smelling like shit. Looking like shit. Just got done fucking playing paintball. Like, looking like all fucked up and shit. And I promise you, I got more numbers and I got more girls to come around me while I'm sitting there smelling all musky and nasty and all that stuff. And the reason why is because as much as you say that that's not attractive, on a natural animal instinct for 100,000 years, it was there was something about it that would bring women and men together. And a natural smell, like, I know y'all been with a guy. And you get used to their natural smell. No. You might not like it, but you get used but to it. But on first no. impression, though, no. first that's impression, like, huh? no, 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 but not that. musky. I'm just talking about yeah. just their normal smell. Everybody oh, yeah. has everybody has a normal good. smell. You get, you everybody has like a normal grass smell. Like grass and tide, right? Right. Like grass and tide. And tide. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. I, but, but yeah, I don't think that y'all should sit there and expect every man to be like a super. Like uh, what's the word? Uh, what do you mean? uh, well, like, guys well, have like, no too like, have I too feminine. Like I don't, I think it could be too mean? feminine. So you think like guys who try too hard on their day. physical, guys who focus too much on their physical, focus too much on trying to like impress in what I would consider girly ways. It's uh, you could say all day it's attractive, but it's attractive because you will sleep with. Because I know these guys. I'm so I'm good friends with a lot of these guys that are what I would call feminine, and they have super nice houses. When you go over there, they're gonna have candles on. They're gonna they they they, they make themselves smell perfect. They, they're the guys with the ten different colognes that are all expensive. Like you know what I'm talking about, okay? Yeah. They, and, and their bed is when you come over, their bed is made. Everything is perfect. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But those guys are geez. They're very good at sleeping with multiple girls and doing that stuff. And at the end of the day. They're never relationship material. Not so if you want to, yeah, yeah. most they're of them right. are. No, they are. They're slutty. Most of them are. No, they are slutty. They're slutty. They're yeah, most slutty. of them are slutty. Like if a guy focuses that much on his physical and that much on certain things, there's he's, he's doing it. For I can't a, think for of a flamboyant. He's flamboyant. He's flamboyant. It, the word is flamboyant. Metro. 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 Yes, metro. metro. So yes, metro. Yeah. That's the word. But metro. there's a there needs to be a baseline for hygiene though. Like there does. Because yes. a lot of guys, I they agree. feel like smelling like that man smell like or just like they're like oh it's like i had a guy i was like do you like spread your cheeks when you like wash in the shower and they're like no i don't be getting up in there i'm like yeah that's something that i think is weird too is whenever like they're scared to touch their butthole yes, like, 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 like they're scared gay. to wash it like, that's, yeah, that gay. Is weird. that's not gay you dirty as guys hell. it's not gay if you have to wash your butthole you just do it dude spread it's not cheeks, it's not that bad spread you didn't ask you didn't ask uh, miss actress the question yeah. uh i didn't wait who about did? about um why what's it like the lamest reason why she blocked somebody Oh yeah, this actress. The lamest reason why I block somebody. Mm, lamest reason. Like, what's the oh. petty reason you block somebody? Shit, just why do you block anybody? Were <laughs> they being crazy? Um. Has it been a minute? The question. It has actually. I haven't. I mean, I've dated a couple people, gone on dates, but if I'm not interested, like if I can't see it going somewhere, then I'll just cut it off. You like, haven't had the block, block or anything. Like, no. No crazy men lately. What about you? Last um, time you had the block, why? Just reaching out, like I on like Snapchat, I'm I'm guilty of this. Like if somebody reaches out to me, and I'll be like, "Hey, how you doing? Send me a picture." And if I don't think they're cute, then I'll block. Them. <laughs> <laughs> She's a savage. Dude. I really block a lot of people. Like if you see my Snapchat list, you'll be like, "Wow," because I'm like, "Why do you think that you can get with me?" No, <laughs> you're not my type. I be blocking people all the time. I just want to know really quick: Do you want kids? Do you want kids? Or you already have a kid, right? Okay, uh, do you I want, want kids? kids? You do? Mm -hmm. You already have kids? Yeah, I do. Do you want kids? I want children. You do, and you don't have any? No. Okay. Do you want kids? I do. Do you want kids? Um, no, but I can see it changing. Okay, but yeah, so like four of y'all would, would want them, or well, everybody actually, here has them or wants them? I actually gave birth, but my daughter passed away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. But I would like that would not change my perspective or my view because I love kids. My major is elementary education. Okay, mm -hmm. well then, so, yeah. Hey, I got a question, Sergio. I want to back up just a little bit. Meech had mentioned something that I want to circle back around regarding her blocking dudes. Mm -hmm. um, and you said like, hey, if you don't find them attractive, you're just going to go ahead and block them, right? Mm -hmm. So I got a question for the ladies. What makes an approach creepy to you whenever a man approaches you? Yeah, we'll start with you on that one. So I definitely think what makes an approach creepy to me is just somebody saying, or some sometimes on Snapchat, because Snapchat can get real sending me your junk and stuff like that like that's not cute 
first of all, we so don't think it looks back cute. Back so back. why? <laughs> <laughs> so why would y'all just randomly send us that? That's not attractive at all. Because for one, it shows me that's all you want from me, and for two, it's just like, why do y'all think that looks good like that? I, I can tell you exactly why they do it. So girls that are uh, borderline personality disorder (BPD), it's very well known that um or there's certain mental health disorders that like or if they've been had bad sexual experience in their past like maybe like been trauma. raped or yeah. trauma or anything like that mm -hmm. um as soon as they get like there's certain women that um as soon as a man pursues them sexually sometimes they have an urge to respond and to like give into it mm -hmm. and like and and so like those guys who fish with those with the dick pics they actually are successful with some girls and it's because they have mental health issues and like and that's why they do it because they'll send it out to 100 girls they will work with a few like it's fucking right. weird i know I, I whenever i found this out years ago yeah, like I, I found this right. i had a friend yeah, who did this when i was like 19 years old and that's what took me on like a long journey of figuring out how the hell he was successful with it and like yeah like there's definitely guys that are successful with it that's why they do it though it's yeah. fucking weird though to me yeah to me it's like you just stained yourself for every person that you just sent that to. And like, you're never going to be taken seriously. I don't know. Right. Or just like randomly popping up in somebody's close friends on Instagram. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. Why are you get out the shot right. with this Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. And why you thought it was okay no, to add me? Why but you, somebody on their close friends was having sex with another person on their phone. And I'm like, did she give you consent? Right, and why oh, you? Yeah, why are you right. adding me? Why, why, why you right? I don't want to see this. Why you want to meet us? How do this? I take myself out? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what, what was the question again, Jr.? So the question was, what's what's a creepy approach to you? Yeah. Oh so yeah. What's a creepy things? approach to you? Creepy approach. What makes it creepy? What makes it creepy? Um, I think. Is it the guy? Don't and don't and when I get to y'all, don't don't feel bad to say it's just how he looks. Yeah, like, don't feel bad because we know that that's sometimes a thing. So don't feel bad if that's y'all's answer. I mean, I really appreciate it if somebody comes up to me and talks to me, even if they're weird or like I always think men because I know it takes a lot to come and like approach women. Um, but I think if honestly, if people are being too nice, like I kind of sometimes too simply, yeah, like think put it as a red flag i don't know like or if they're doing the most like guys really quit fucking like, simping so dude. so beautiful like i don't know i think that's, that's too much <laughs> some different right <laughs> something different, different. Mm -hmm, yeah. dude i hate that shit so much <laughs> so dudes that 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 seem they're they're too needy or yes. that they're trying to overcomplicate or, or they're like overcompensating yeah, yeah overcompensating yeah they're a thousand percent overcompensating for other things that they suck at in life they like suck. any guy that's simping super hard it's because they're missing out somewhere else in their life Probably. i know i feel like if they if they had game they wouldn't be doing it uh what about you really predatory behavior so like right off the bat like very like and I don't, what are you doing? No, like not even just that, but I've seen this from a lot of guys who are like the pretty guys, like the guys that smell really good. And like when you tell them no, it's almost like when we're told no. They feminine. Like, I told like, y'all they're feminine. They're like, what do you mean? You know you want to fuck with me. I'm, I'm the realest dude you've ever seen. I smell good. I pay my bills. I made my bed. I got Baccarat candles in here. <laughs> like, 